Botulism, also known as botulinus intoxication is a rare but serious paralytic illness caused by botulinum toxin, which is a protein produced under anaerobic conditions by the bacterium Clostridium botulinum and affecting a wide range of mammals, birds and fish. The toxin enters the human body in one of three ways by colonization of the digestive tract by the bacterium in children, infant botulism, adult intestinal toxemia, by ingestion of toxin from foods, febrin botulism, or by contamination of a wound by the bacterium, wound botulism, person-to-person -person transmission of botulism does not occur. All forms lead to paralysis that typically starts with the muscles of the face and then spreads towards the limbs. In severe forms, it leads to paralysis of the breathing muscles and causes respiratory failure. In light of this life-threatening complication, all suspected cases of botulism are treated as medical emergencies, and public health officials are usually involved to prevent further cases from the same source. Botulism Symptoms the muscle weakness of botulism characteristically starts in the muscles supplied by the cranial nerves. A group of 12 nerves controls eye movements, the facial muscles and the muscles controlling chewing and swallowing. Double vision, drooping of both eyelids, loss of facial expression and swallowing problems may therefore occur, as well as difficulty with talking. The weakness then spreads to the arms, starting in the shoulders and proceeding to the forearms and legs, again from the thighs down to the feet. Severe botulism leads to reduced movement of the muscles of respiration, and hence problems with gas exchange. This may be experienced as dyspnea, difficulty breathing, but once severe can lead to respiratory failure, due to the buildup of an exhaled carbon dioxide and its resultant depressant effect on the brain. This may lead to coma and other symptoms are, as a dry mouth and throat, due to decreased production of saliva, posture and hypotension, decreased blood pressure on standing, with result of lightheadedness and risk of blackouts, and eventually constipation, due to decreased peristalsis. Absent or decreased deep tendon reflexes. Absent or decreased gag reflex. Eyelid drooping. Loss of muscle function slash feeling. Paralyzed bowel. Speech impairment. Urine retention with an ability to urinate. Botulism treatment. The only drug currently available to treat infant botulism is botulism, immunoglobulin intravenous human, big IV or babibig. Babibig was developed by the Infant Botulism Treatment and Prevention Program. The respiratory failure and paralysis that occur with severe botulism may require a patient to be on a ventilator for weeks, plus intensive medical and nursing care. After several weeks, the paralysis slowly improves. If diagnosed early, febrin and wound botulism can be treated by inducing passive immunity with a horse-derived antitoxin, which blocks the action of toxins circulating in the blood. For breathing trouble, you will have to stay in a hospital. The healthcare team will clear your airway and provide treatment. A tube may be inserted through the nose or mouth into the windpick to provide an airway for oxygen. You may need a breathing machine. Patients who had trouble swallowing may get intravenous fluids. A feeding tube may be inserted. Botulism is a common disease, yet every individual needs unique treatment and care. We encourage people with botulism and their families to learn as much as possible about the latest medical treatment and approaches as well as healthy lifestyle choices. For more information about botulism and how to treat botulism, just click on the link at description or visit www.mainmd.com. Thank you.